All right, here we are, another Sunday morning at the house. Hey, Hopper, just us, just the two of us. A spoon, ready? Daddy's spoon. Daddy's spoon. Ah, tasty. Should we put ducky somewhere? Should we put ducky just here? Look. Yeah. Then put dummy just there. Daddy, try something. Do che cheers. 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 Good morning, guys. Not sure what's planned today. Let's, let's go out somewhere. It's sunny today. Should we go to the park? No. We'll find somewhere. Hey, Denson. What are you doing? What if Mummy finds out? What if Mummy finds out you've been jumping on the sofa? As you can see, it is a beautiful day here in the countryside. So we thought we'd go for a drive. Harper refused to go to sleep. We had a great morning though. We, we watched Toy Story. We played, well, I would say we played with a jigsaw. Harper decided to, to sit in the jigsaw box and throw them all out rather than contributing. Um, we coloured, we had cereal, we had breakfast. What else did we do, Harper? We played with a bunch of different toys as well. And, uh, and then I, it was time for a type of nap afternoon nap and she refused to go down she would not go down she's having too much fun so i thought you know what i uh, i've not had a coffee at home i'm gonna go get a coffee and i thought i'd take her out hopefully she falls asleep in the car on this drive and then after that i mind i'm gonna try and take it to the countryside i'm gonna try, try and take it to matlock or you know somewhere around here where it's nice and, uh, and sunny and um yeah so currently driving to get a coffee and just spin around the block a little bit try and uh, get her to sleep although she's still awake right now Wearing her cardigan. She's very, oh, by the way, she's got me wrapped around her little finger. She kept sitting into the box of the jigsaw. I told her no, and I saw her quite seriously. No, I used my dad voice and everything, and she kept doing it. And then minutes went by, minutes went by, minutes went by. She went to do it again. I said, and then I, and I really did my dad voice. And Harper, no, you know? And what did she do? She literally gave me side eye, like literally gave me the cheekiest side eye ever and then put her toe in, like her, put her foot in like this, like a point, point to foot, and then looked at me again, smiled, and put the little one in. So she knows what she's up to, and I hate to say it, but she's got me wrapped, wrapped around her little finger, which is a tough one because obviously, with the current situation, it's like, you know, there's not mum there to be the, you know, good cop, bad cop. I can't be like, no, and then she can go to her mum. I am both of them right now, or when I'm with her, so, uh, I have, I, so I also do let my guard down a little bit, and in the end, she's my little girl, right? So yeah, I, uh, I don't let her off, but I try and distract her and laugh with her, and, and she makes me laugh. So yeah. Anyway, about to join the uh, the the A road, so I'm gonna cut now, and I will see you guys later. Hopefully, show you about this countryside we're going to, because it's beautiful. All right, we made it, and success. She's asleep, and has been for about 20 minutes so far. So I'm just going to sit here in the car park until she's up and then we're going to get up and go for a little walk. Um, I didn't really plan to come here, but it's pretty beautiful. It's quite close, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Hiya, hiya ducks. Say hiya. 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 The geese these are. These actually are geese. Yeah. I know Mike right now because it's really hard to push the push chair with no baby in it because she refuses. Hold her in my other arm and then hold the camera. It's impossible. So yeah, spending time with her rather than filming for you guys, but just giving you a little bit of an update. Here's how it looks right now as well. Is it a nice day, Harper? Yeah. Sunny. Have you seen doggies? Yeah. We've seen lots of doggies, haven't we? And then there's a castle behind us. Big castle. We've seen ducks. We've seen doggies. It's a bit miserable over that side. But that side is really nice. Finally, let me strap her in. Somehow, we got it done. <laughs> Chilling. All done and dusted. That was really fun for Harper's and I's and I's. Harper and my last shebang together for a little bit because next weekend Laura's got. A, and by the way, that is fine. Like I have no problem ever with like Laura wanting to spend certain weekends and stuff. I just don't. I, I just you know, obviously I'm scared. I, I would be scared and like be limited, like agreed to it. You know, like because for example, I think I'm away in a few weekends time for a group filming thing. That's not like not my. I can't. I, mean, I can not go, but it's bad for my work if I don't go for a new project that we're doing. And it's like, so if, if I do that, then I'm not going to see her for a... Yeah, but uh, obviously that's just life. And I get that, but, you know. Anyway, had fun today. Really, really nice time.
tiring for sure because um, she refused to go in the push chair, which is fine. Actually, towards the end, wow, look at this guy behind me. Look at this cool, cool dude, man. Watch this, watch this. <laughs> what kids love to do? <laughs> Why is he doing that? <laughs> anyway. That's it. This vlog today is going to be all mostly car. I'm dropping Harper off now, um, meeting Laura. Then I'm going to set off to London because it does take three and a bit hours. Um, oh, we're getting a call. All right, uh, I'll call you back. Well, I'll speak to you guys soon. Just said bye to Harper, which is always sad. It never gets any easier. Um, and again, that is it now for a couple of weeks. So yeah, tough, 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 tough. But we had a great time this weekend, made the most of it for sure, um, which is all you can do really. And now the plan going forward is for me to get back in order because I was killing it with, you know, mental, well, I think I need to, I think of what, obviously the last week has been tough for me, um, quite eye-opening and it's just, well, not eye-opening, it's just been tough, it's been tough. So I'm not gonna be mad at myself for falling off track with like the gym and everything else too much because it's just going through a lot. But I think what I need to admit to myself is that I actually am not like okay, you know? It's okay to be motivated and stuff, but obviously I've read all your comments from that one video the, the quite emotional one, and uh, you guys helped me a lot on that one. I really appreciate all the support, and I've read more than you think. I, I, I didn't reply to any of them yet because obviously it was a busy week, and also um, I was with Harper, and also it's just hard to kind of like, I don't know, reopen all those thoughts that I had in that video, but I did appreciate everything you said. I, I took a lot of it in, and, and I will go back and get back to a lot of people uh, in that in that like thread or in that video. Someone said, it's okay to say things that are, you know, I've got to be stronger, I've got to be this, I've got to be that, and also like it's okay to also say that you're not. And you know, so I think I need to, yeah, definitely like get stuck in with therapy and like on a consistent basis. In person, I think I'm gonna try and try and in, get it in person. If not, I'll, I'll do it online, sure. But if I can, if I can. But what I'm saying in general is I need to get back on track and I need to get back in order with the gym, with the work goals, because again, the work goal is to be able to try and work or not work less, but not be spreading myself so thin, you know? Um, so for that, I need to hire, but to be able to hire, I have to work really hard and get everything to a stage where I can do that and have it have things moving and working. So that means gym, that means eating, that means good habits, that means sleeping, that means work on a, I mean, yeah, trips as well. Trips help me because they get my mind clear and they also provide videos for the main channel and the vlog channel, which is really, really good. Uh, and then also they give me a little bit of like, it like re resets my mind, you know? So that's the goal going forward. Um, and to do that, I'm thinking just a bit more planning ahead, you know? So uh, maybe a little bit extra work on like the calendar, maybe, uh, but I don't know. <laughs> it all comes back to like, oh man, like men mental is like, your, your mental, our mental is so important, isn't it? It's crazy how important it is. Cause I know a lot of us and, and, and well, we all know what we need to be doing, I think. We all, we've always known, you know? So that's, that's why so many people, that's why some of these scammers have so much success with selling like weight loss plans. We know what to do. We just don't want to do it. We don't want to do the hard things. We, all we want to do is the easy things. So if someone brings out a new diet or a new workout plan or like, a, a, you know, we, we, we want to get sucked into that, you know, because we don't want to do the, the hard work, which is accepting that, you know, yeah, you got to eat less. You got to work out more. You got to get out of bed earlier. You got to get to bed earlier. Instead of staying up and watching one more episode, you got to have the discipline and go, yeah, I've enjoyed myself now, but now I'm going to bed, you know. We know what we have to do, but we just don't do it. Uh, and that's because we, we feel it, it hurts, you know, it, <laughs> it hurts. Even this morning, like, I was in, in bed with Harper because she, she woke up in the middle, in the, you know, maybe half 12 at night. Um, and then I, she wouldn't go back down again, which usually she does to be fair, but she didn't this time. So I just brought her back into my bed and she slept all the way through till eight, which was really, really great. But um, when she was up in the morning, you know, we were like, you know, playing around, we were joking around, you know, and she was just waking up. And then at one point we were like, okay, let's get up. And I was like, you know, get right, 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 Randy, like, like now it's time to get up, you know? It's, it's hard, it's hard. We have these things where it's like, life, like, like, like when, you, when they say the weight on your shoulders, it literally is a weight on your shoulders because you can't get up, you know? Like figuratively, but also actually as well. <laughs> but we have to, we have to do that, you know? And, and then spending the weekend with Harper, it, can, it kind of resets things a little bit because again, even though my, a lot of my emotions last week were because of what's going on, when you're with her there, you're like, okay, now I see my responsibility. My responsibility is not necessarily for myself, it's for Harper and for everyone around me. And even Laura, you know, even at this stage, I still obviously love her and care about her enough to try and push forward with what I'm responsible for, for them, for them both, you know, because she's her mother and I want her to also have the best life possible. And even though that a lot of that pains me because of things that have happened, um, I, I do want that. And that's why I, I don't want it to get messy with 
everything because if it gets messy, then we'll start really resenting each other, and it'll be it'll be it'll just be a mess, you know. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, headstrong while also accepting that it's okay and it's not in my control that if my head's not strong. So also talk to someone, try and get some actual help, try and figure things out, um, admit things to me as well. Like I also, by the way, this is again really, really personal. I actually had to admit to myself that I did, I do miss Laura. Like I do miss. I miss the times when we were in London together before we moved back up north. I miss those times. I miss the times that we had. And, I, and if I could go back and get those times back, I would do it in an instant and I'd do anything for that. But what I also have to remember and remind myself is that that's not the reality now. You know, things have changed, things have like happened, and uh, the current mindset that's not healthy and that's not right. But I, but I had to admit to myself that I do actually miss those those times, you know, the London times, what we were building together, the life we were building, uh, and I think it's good to accept that because you're not lying to yourself, you know, I think often we lie to ourselves and that's the worst thing we can do as people because it's not wrong to think certain things, that's, that's what, the big, biggest thing I can say after all this experience and what I've learned is that it's not wrong to, it's not wrong to have feelings about certain things and it's not wrong to, whether good or bad, it's not wrong, it's what you do with them that's, that's, that sets you up for greatness or getting better or, you know, not to be cliche and cringe, but so that, and that's what you got to remember, like, you, you, any thoughts you have, it's not wrong, nothing's wrong, you are not wrong, you are not abnormal, you are not, but how do you treat that, you know, how do you, what does that mean, and that's why talking to people, not just therapy, but talking to friends, talking to family, and if you don't have those, of course, then therapy, and anyway, to figure out why, like, why, what does that mean, you know, okay, I have these thoughts about this, that, the other, what does that mean, how do I adapt them, and also, in relationships as well, if you're going, bro, this is, if you're going through something right now that is tough with your partner or loved one or whatever or any friends, family, no matter who it is, talk, vocalize it and open up. And again, I'm not trying to talk about too much personal stuff that's not involving me out there, but if Laura and I had just spoken more to each other, all of this would have been fixed. In, not instantly, but very e way easier than everything else that had happened, you know? Just talk, just literally, and don't be afraid of the truth. Don't be afraid of the truth. Don't be afraid of what you're thinking. Just let it out and adapt and deal with it. And if you can do like couples therapy or family therapy or whatever together, then that's even better because when you do say things, then someone else there can help you assess what that means. And I'm being deadly serious now because I, like I just told you, I would do anything to go back to that, to before. Before, I'd do anything to go back and I can't. And that, that and I finally had to accept to myself that that is sad and that, you know, but now I'm looking forward to the future, you know, I'm looking forward to moving on personally and again I, I don't think it'll be easy for me to kind of trust someone else again or let myself or give give what I gave, it, you know, again, but that's okay too, I'm, there's no rush for me, uh, especially in that regard, um, you know, there's no rush, but obviously I'm, I'm excited for what my life will be, uh, I'm excited for, you know, even if it's less time with Harper, I'm excited for what can I do with that less time, you know, uh, and what can I be doing when I'm not with her to be able to make the times with her better, and again, I've told you so many times in the vlog, when she's older and I can take her away more, and I can take her on trips, and I can have her on my own places, and I'm working for that, you know, um, and, and I want to be able to give her everything I've learned, and every, all the lessons I've learned, and the skills I've had, I've got a lot of, I've got a lot of skills doing what I've done, you know, uh, and I'm proud of who I am, and I'm proud of the... Uh, talent that I have, the hard work that I have, the ethics, I'm proud of it, I'm, I love my, I'm proud of myself, and I have to love myself, you know, I'm, I'm proud of what I've done, I wish I could do better, I wish I could maintain things more, and the things I want to do better, but I would want nothing more than Laura to, uh, <laughs> I would want nothing more than Harper to have those qualities as well, uh, and that's up to me to be able to be who I can and be who I can be for her, because otherwise she won't have that. She, you know, she won't have that like role model and I needed to have someone, it doesn't have to be me, but someone that can show her that whatever she chooses to do in life, she can do it. Um, and especially being a woman as well, like I want her to know that, you know, I want her to be confident and know that she can do anything in this world, you know, but what, it doesn't, and whatever that is, it doesn't have to be something crazy, it doesn't have to be something special, but whatever it is, she needs to want the confidence there because confidence fuels so much, it takes you so far and it just, it, confidence, and, and acceptance and belief in who you are is the best thing and I've, all, I've always had that even though I've had doubts even though I have maybe problems myself loving myself I've always known that I am doing the right thing you know with, with work or with, with like my st I've always known that my heart my soul is the right thing you know and uh, but anyway so I don't know why I got onto that part there but um, but yeah long story short is 
what I'm trying to say is <laughs> that what I'm realizing again is the hard work. When I'm not seeing Harper, I can either A, let that time go, be upset, or I can make that time count. I need to make that time count, you know? And I started these vlogs in January, and I'm here now, and it's, it's what, it's March, end of March, almost April. The years go, time is going fast, man. And I'm happy, I'm, I've, I've had a productive year, I've had a good year. It's been tough, but I know that I can keep going, you know? And I know that I've got something more to do, so let's get back on track, you know? Gym, on point, uh, you know? Sleep on point, food on point, water on point, work on point, try and get some music done just for my actual soul. Podcast, work on everything, get everything moving, get everything going, and uh, yeah, back like back on track so that, again, all this work is for half, you know. Um, but yeah, right, I'm gonna get on driving now, I'm gonna put a podcast on or something like that, uh, and I'll check in with you guys furthermore. But again, this vlog has been, I, I, I need to stop saying this vlog has been because they've all been not necessarily what I want them to be, but they are my life, you know, and I, I can't run away from that, and I can't, um, I can't film something that I'm not doing, you know, because I'm not doing it. <laughs> okay, I'm waffling now, but, you know, I, I just know that the people who do watch these, this means something, you know, these, these like, chats and these, like, what we because I'm not, like, I'm, I'm, I'm saying this stuff, but we're all going through, this, it's the same battle, it's the same battle, it's different, different, like, outlooks, everyone's going through something different, something unique to them, but it's the same kind of thing, you know, so I think that, and I know if I, if I was younger as well, and I was in my shoes, which I was, and I was watching some of the people who I like, or my favorite YouTuber, or someone that is successful, and they were saying this, and they were kind of like showing the other side of them, I, I too would be like, okay, this is really helping me, you know. Um, and I will say one more thing, which is really close to my heart, and actually really upsetting. I have lost role models. Throughout all this thing, I've lost people that I used to look up to massively. And I got old and realized, why did I look up to those people, you know? And there's people out there watching this who don't have that person to look up to. So if I can just be, not the, I'm not saying emulate me or I'm not saying I'm, I'm someone worthy of that. What I'm saying is just having that voice and having someone to listen to or, or, or watch that's not, you know, Andrew Tate or, or whatever, then I think I think that's good. And, uh, and again, it goes back to Harper, like, I feel that like men and fathers have such an important responsibility and role and I do honestly believe that they are underlooked massively, like massively, like honestly, because it's hard, it's really hard because you don't have that, like, mater maternal, motherly, you don't, you don't have that, like, connection, so it's hard, it, you know, it's hard because at times the kid, the, the, the kid doesn't want you, you know, they don't want you because you're not their mum, but they need you, they really do need you, and uh, that's why, and, and you know, and, and people joke uh, and people, you know, no dads or, or uh, you know single mothers and stuff but like that is one of the hardest things someone has to, has to go through on the mother side of course but also on the side of the child as well sorry for the shadow I'm not really I'm not looking at my phone at all obviously I'm driving but that is one of the hardest things because dads do so much you know and if you know someone who if you're a man first and foremost I am sorry because it is really hard and like Obviously, the, the world is built for men, so I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to say. I, hopefully, you know what I'm saying. I'm not trying to say that we are. Ah, uh, no, I'm not. I'm not trying to say anything like that. We, men, men, the world is built for men. I'm not trying to be like, oh, men need more. I'm not saying that. But I'm saying just in in the family situation, I'm saying it's so important. So if you're a man, and, and you know someone who is not, you know, if you know like a, a child and a mother who doesn't have a father or any male role models, if you can just put work or be a be a be a shoulder or be someone that can just pop in or say hello or keep tabs because it's so important and then they, they both need it you know and uh even at, despite everything that's happening in, in my situation if like she needs that they both, they both they both need that you know so but also any men out there dads who have had the same thing happening that's coming to me and worse because i know i know the people have it way worse you know and i know and, and again laura is i love laura i always will do and she's an amazing person but i know people have it worse so again i'm sorry for you as well and, and there's not much i can say because I, I i don't know the answers but i don't know what i will say is let's, let's all keep working you know let's keep working 
because it's just, we can't give up. The second you give up, you give up on everything. You give, and you give up on yourself, you know, and you can't give up on yourself, you just can't. So, right, I'm gonna leave it there, guys, for now. But love you all, and this is, yeah, I'm, I'm motivated. You guys keep me motivated, and I appreciate that I have this outlet, because as much as, I need you guys more than I think you need these videos, by the way, just to let you know. So when I see comments saying, thanks, no, no, I'm thanking you guys. I appreciate the comments, appreciate the community, and uh, hopefully, Hopefully we'll make something out of these vlogs, you know, and, and I don't just mean, I'm not talking about like views or anything like that, I'm saying like hopefully we can we can all use this year and this, this period to, to grow as people and look back in, and, and I, again, I've said I want to do these vlogs for a long time, so hopefully we can look back in five years and be like, oh my goodness me, look at where we are now and, you know, together go into different avenues, different things and, and progress and be healthy, you know, and, and, and then... And maybe we can help more people. I don't know. Maybe we can try and help more. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, thanks for... Uh, thanks. I'm going to pause it here. But I love you. And this is what the Uncle Randy podcast will try and be like. I, I think when I, I when I do the Uncle Randy podcast, I don't want to do it with any producers there. I, I need it to be like just me and the mic, you know. I, so I need to try and find a way to all record it myself because I think it would be better that way. I don't want... I want it to just... Because like, I'd be a bit nervous. I think, I think the good thing about the vlogs is you do get me in these moments where I am thinking and if I wasn't and if I was with other people I would be a bit limited you know which is natural but uh, yeah yeah right anyway podcast on onward and, and upwards and we got this guys we got this love you all yeah again I forgot to fill you guys in when I stopped the car to charge it's because I was making a thumbnail for the vlog that I just posted today because I didn't have one and I was like damn it like I knew I should have done a thumbnail before I left home forgot to um, and then when I stopped to charge, I was like, okay, let me do it in the car now. Uh, and then just drove back, got to London. It's like currently 10 to 10. Uh, I've been back like 20 minutes now. Got some parcels, uh, new headphones. I'll show you it all tomorrow. Um, and now I'm just tired. But I'm going to go to bed earlier tonight to make sure that tomorrow I can actually get on the grind and be ready for the day rather than feeling, uh, like, like, rather than feeling, how do I say it? unprepared you know well, obviously so i want to organize everything today so i can wake up and just get at it tomorrow what time am i going to the gym what time am i meeting up with uh cal i'm doing videos tomorrow what's good setup what's good podcast stuff as well speaking of the thumbnail it's changed the thumbnail because like the video's not doing very well um which is fine but like it says that regular viewers are finding it less interesting so i think that the title of what's good is not a good one i probably should use something else so i'll probably go with either me making music again or working on my setup or something but I'll worry about it tomorrow. Now it's just, yeah, like I said, go to bed, plan tomorrow, and wake up fresh. So, yeah, good night all. Love you and peace.